Free Comic Book Day Minicon is coming the first Saturday in May, May 2nd. We are giving away 20,000 comics, way more than we gave away last year. Plus, we have Free Comic Book Day Month, which entitles you to free stuff all month long. Free Comic Book Day is May 2nd. We have so many people coming down. So much going on. Jeremy Rathbone, who you guys will all know from Empires Before, from the art wall, and from all the cons, will be here. Free Comic Book Day is right around the corner. 20 plus guests, Sac City Rollers, Supreme Pro Wrestling, food trucks, stuff for the kids, and best of all, Jeremy Rath. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Uh, now, you have a lot to live up to, you realize this. I do. Because I've, I've just put you oh, way up here. My... Which I don't think you're going to have a problem living up to. The man, <laughs> uh, the man is giving birth to a baby. Well, his wife <laughs> is giving birth to a baby soon. That, that would be impressive. That would, that would be impressive. I'm trying to really build it. Like, yeah. like, he these can are do physically can't impossible do. things. Uh, Jeremy, welcome to the show. Thank you for coming down. Thank you for coming to Free Comic Book Day. You have done a bunch of stuff with us in the past. Yeah. Uh, you guys have probably even met Jeremy, or if this is going to be your free, or first free comic book day, you're going to want to come down and meet him. Um, Jeremy, tell us just a little bit about you and uh, what you do art -wise. Okay, well, I do painting mostly. Um, old guys is what I specialize in. Usually with beards, funny hats, and they cast spells. Okay, or those they, are called wizards. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> Okay, and, uh, just, or they sure. or they run around in a phone booth, usually. Oh, those oh, guys doctors, yeah. doctors. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so you can actually say their names on this <laughs> because uh, nobody in TV nobody. Land is watching no, my videos. No. So, Doctor Who, <laughs> what? Doctor, Doctor Who. Who? Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. So, you know, you do you do specialize in a lot of that kind of stuff. You you have a heavy Doctor Who influence there. Mm -hmm. You do Star Wars. Yeah. A lot of classic stuff. Uh, he not only does old men, he does buff men because He Man. He Man. Uh, <laughs> have you ever done a Prince Adam? I don't think I've seen one. Uh -uh. Why? I don't know. The pink. Is that turning off? It just never even occurred to me. I think you should do a Prince Adam. I think I will. Okay, that there we go. You guys heard it first, uh, right here. Yeah. <laughs> so, your influence is obviously. Yeah lie 80s prior mm -hmm. um when did you start doing your artwork um i mean we're not counting finger paintings i'm talking stuff that was noticeably what you were trying to do i don't know it was uh do you want to call your mom <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry keep going. Uh, yeah yeah it, it'd have to be you'd have to talk to my parents um I don't remember. Okay, do you remember then the first thing that you that you did that you were proud of? Like this is like a canvas or something where you're like, wow, I can actually do this. I can go to cons. I can. Oh yeah, well you know it was it was actually because I started doing cons very unsuccessfully for a long time first. I still do cons very unsuccessfully. If you need some pointers, let me know. Um, the first the first one I remember where I was actually thinking this might actually work out mm -hmm. was in Emerald City. Okay. It was about seven years ago, I think. Seven, mm -hmm. eight years ago. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'd already been doing them for a couple years at this point, but I went. My friend gave me his table spot because he decided he didn't want to use it, and I didn't bring anything with me. All right. I didn't because he had a Prius and he had three other people, so we couldn't fit anything. Okay. So I just grabbed my paints, and, and literally and, that's it. Okay. And you figured you were gonna and, wing it. Yeah, yeah. The the morning before the show started, I stopped at the hardware store. Okay. And I just picked up wood, and throughout the weekend, I just painted pictures on wood live right there, and and I didn't have anything else to sell, and I still did a few hundred dollars. And this is unprepared. Now, yeah. one of the things you guys will notice too, and you'll probably if you uh, since we don't have any of his artwork behind us right now, you, Jeremy's staple at the cons. Is I mean you will do to this day you'll still paint on wood yeah and that's one of the unique things um, do you even use canvas no I don't like okay canvas. that's canvas. what I thought because we've had his stuff in the art room and you your stuff varies from size from small I mean to very large and it's all just on wood mm -hmm. um, which is unique because you don't see that and my I think my favorite 
Everybody liked the Boba Fett, yeah. uh, but my favorite was the Admiral Ackbar, uh, done in the old British naval uniform. Uh, that yeah. that one was great. So from there, you you that's when you started thinking this is something that's viable. Yeah. This is something you could make money at and uh, and keep doing. Mm -hmm. And you've uh, not only done the the, uh, the painting, you've also ventured into Comic Land. Um, mm -hmm. Any other things that you've kind of done or that you've tried out? Um, I think I think most. Successfully, it's been the comics mm -hmm. and painting. I mean, and what I comics on, have you worked on? Um, well, I've done, I've worked with the 916 Inc. You guys uh, will have seen in Look Up Eben's video, we talked a lot about that. So, you've also ventured into comics, and the very first comic book that you ever did was back when Sacramento was still really just coming up with a lot of comics. A lot of those comics were not on the wall, and it was dust. dust. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Okay, it was my first comic. Uh, it was a western, and as my first comic, well, it just wasn't very good, to be honest. <laughs> it's funny that you say that because yeah, I look back at like continuum number one, and I'm like, oh wow, yeah. how, how did yeah. I think this was wonderful? Yeah. Uh, but thank thank God, just like the birthing process, we forget and we go forward. Yeah, yeah we just move on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so after Dust, what was the next comic experience you had? Uh, a lot of it was actually working on 24-hour comics. Okay, and I, you've come to quite a few here. I have, yeah. And each time, I, they may have been bad, but I've always completed a comic every time. And let me just give you guys a quick rundown what that is. Every year here at Empires from 9 a.m. to 9, from 9 a.m. Saturday to 9 a.m. Sunday, we sit down and we create a 24-page comic. And you've done quite a few. I, I, yeah, a lot of variety too. I've, I've done a horror. I've done a time travel photo comic where you died once, but not the second time. It was unrevealed the second time. Yeah, I'm pretty but, sure you guys intended to kill me. Uh, but Charnold killed himself, so there's that. That is that is very true. Yeah. Uh, and then and, what? Your Vikings? Uh, yeah. Well, then next it was the no, it's pirates. Pirates. The robot pirates saga, and the big problem. Story-wise, in that the, the the bad guy was the uh, mutiny bot, but you can't really blame mutiny bot. There's I, I, a lot of angst for that character. Yeah, I, I think that it's his parents' fault. Yeah, yeah. So so that was completed. But then, leading up to what we're going to be telling you all about, you had an idea inspired by somebody to do something further with the robot. Yeah, I started doing these displaced robot illustrations and I met with someone at a con once and they specially requested a Viking robot and I yeah so I don't I, think that I've ever seen one I did a sketch of a Viking robot and everybody was happy and I thought wow that was fun this idea I love this okay. this is better than anything I've done before so then I started working on Saga of the Robo Vikings attack of the saga well the book is called Saga of the Robo Vikings, but we're going to be doing a Kickstarter. Okay. And the Kickstarter is Attack of Saga of the Robo Vikings. There'll be a link because that's it's a mouthful. It Attack is. of Saga of the Robo Vikings. Vikings. See, I got it. There we go. It's not yeah. so bad. You guys can do it too. Say it three times I, I fast. Um, so, tell us about that Kickstarter and what we can expect. Well, in the Kickstarter, we're raising funds to print an already created book. Okay. All the work so they don't have to into wait for you to yeah, do it. You're yeah. not you're not just saying, "Hey, help me get this off the ground and, yeah. and pay me for my time." You 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 committed yourself. Yeah. You're you're going to be done. Yeah, basically we're looking at maybe a couple of months wait. Um, That's not bad to, at all. to get the book out. Uh, we need to print it. It's going to be a 48-page book. Okay. It's done in the format of a lot of the older Marvel books where it'd be the two stories in one, but it's serialized. Okay. So you've got two different stories that take place in the Robo Vikings universe. That's perfect. Now, in this universe, are there humans? No. No. Okay, maybe the robots will create the humans. Maybe. Okay. That's been that hasn't been determined yet. Okay, we don't know. But uh, so so, what can I expect? Is it just a, a, is it fun? I mean, is yes. it just is it violent? Yes. Is it uh, in color? Yes. Those are like the three things I look for. When There's explosions. There are explosions, even in Viking times, but they're yeah. robots. So somebody, yeah. I mean, they clearly. Well, there's like Norse explosions. You need those. Norse explosions. Norse explosions. You do need those. Um, so that that sounds a lot of fun. You guys will be able to, to see this. It's going live May 1st. <laughs> and then Jeremy will be here May 2nd to promote it. You can talk to him about it. You can see examples of it. You can t check out his work. And uh, no, that's great, Jeremy. Where can they find you online? You can find me uh, on Twitter as Jeremy Rathbone. Okay. Facebook, 
Jeremy Rathbone. Uh, I even have a Facebook page. It's Jeremy or Rathbone. Or Jeremy Rathbone. Um, <laughs> basically, just Google Jeremy Rathbone, exactly the way it sounds, and you're going to find the guy. Yeah, you're going to find me over and over again. Okay, that's that's awesome. That, that's very convenient. That's really convenient. I try to be. Yeah, your, your parents knew. They knew what to do. Yeah. Unlike Mutiny Bot, they give yeah. you a name that has only helped you. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming down, sir. Thank you. Uh, you guys will see him on May 2nd. Don't forget to click the link below to take a peek at the Kickstarter, which starts May 1st. And we'll see you guys all at Free Comic Book Day.